Okay, what is wrong with this picture? John McCain, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Rudolph Giuliani. Let's just say it is not the most conservative bunch of folks. So who will get conservatives to rush to the polls if McCain does indeed grab the nomination? Well, try Hillary Clinton. That's what my next guest is saying. Pencella Smith is with the Independent Women's Voice, but Bill Green disagrees. He's president of RightMarch.com. Um, explain, Pencella. Well, first of all, you have to remember that uh, for many conservatives, Hillary Clinton represents a time, she represents a time when her husband was, was in office where we had higher taxes and more government. And it's just as simple as saying, look, you still have a large base of people in the American population who believe in less government, lower taxes. Uh, they believe in the process of individualism that conservatives like to champion. So you, Hillary Clinton's almost too, too easy of a ball to hit out of the park. If you put her on the ticket, that is a gift wrap package for John McCain, Mitt Romney or Mike Huckabee. Take your pick. All right. So if she's right, Bill, even by comparison, then they look fine. McCain looks great because she looks worse. Well, you know, uh, I don't think that comparisons are what conservatives are looking for right now. Uh, they've been told for a long time, well, look, you just need to suck up. You need to uh, choose the lesser of two evils. Even though McCain is the same McCain that was on the McCain-Kennedy amnesty bill and on the McCain-Feingold uh, anti-free speech bill and has done all these things that conservatives are very upset about and have, have been upset about for some time, hey, you just got to suck it up at, because it's Hillary we're up against and you need to just go ahead and vote. The conservatives aren't going to be putting up with that kind of stuff. Well, what anymore. are you? Are, what are conservatives going to do, Bill? I, I'll be honest with you. I think the conservatives have gotten to the point where they're really starting to feel that the Republican Party is leaving the, their base, is leaving the uh, conservative, the movement conservatives so what are they themselves. Do? I think that if uh, if you've got someone like McCain at the top of the ticket, they'll probably sit home, or or else they'll go for a, a third party if they have to. Really? All right. So play that out, Priscilla. How does that work? I don't think so. Look, look, people win elections on positivity, and John McCain has been uh, pretty positive this whole campaign. If you listen to what John McCain does, he speaks about his strengths. John McCain was there in a time in the 1980s. Everybody wants to talk about Ronald Reagan. John McCain was there with Reagan in 1981 talking about tax cuts, and not only just tax cuts, but cutting spending. That's where the conservatives have gotten frustrated in this particular administration is, is we did tax cuts, but we didn't cut spending. John McCain well, knows well, how to, to do fair, that. To be fair, Prince, the one, th the one thing that they're not frustrated with is, the, is this president's tax cuts. And, and, yeah, but and, what I'm and, saying and, is... Well, fairly or not, and, and there are a lot of reasons to explain his votes and all that, but John McCain voted against those tax cuts, not once but twice. And he's confused people by saying, I, 